This is Pat Gunn, and we're playing Skyrim. So, I found uh, the needed console codes that will allow us to fix the uh, the quest uh, the quest with the guy who wants to brawl with us outside. To do this, and then. And hopefully that will uh, let us actually go back and uh, and fight him. Apart from that, we have a few other goals that uh, that we want to take care of in this uh, in this playthrough. Let's first see. Okay, we're doing okay on uh, on equipment. We don't have a lot of stuff that we don't need on us. We maybe have a little bit more than uh, than we'd like, but so I'm going to drop off some of this stuff at home and then head out the other door and go refight that dude. So the other two things that uh, I'd like us to take care of uh, in this playthrough, or at least sometime in the next few, is we want to go and, uh, and deliver these ingredients to the orcs. Let's see, so I can drop that off. We need one more flawless amethyst for the Argonian and the uh, bar who wants to get married, I think. Oh wait, that's that's right. I guess I think we're good. Come on, move. Okay, and uh, then we're going to want to visit Solitude and uh, get the quest to join the Bard's College. Now, ordinarily, Solitude is something I take care of uh, much later in the game, but it does have a really good uh, trainer in speech. And that's important to have a decent income throughout the game, so it would be good to visit um, him a little bit earlier. And then I'm going to start the vampire uh, quest line. Now the reasoning behind that is that I'm not entirely happy with how Jazargo is working out. The mod that I got, um, I had thought that it would stop him from just casting um, sparks all the time, but it but it doesn't seem to actually be do, uh, be doing that. So I'm going to swap him with my normal permanent uh, follower, who is a vampire by the name of uh, Serana. You've been a good friend to me. That means something. Been stuck. I've been riding, and one day I was drunker than a... ah. Not me. I'm no. Oh, tell you what. You match the bet, and we are. Here we go. Okay, so let's let's make sure I do not have anything. In my right hand. Oh. You do have a serious advantage playing with. Uh, Playing as a Kashi because they get a pretty serious unarmed buff. Not at all. Okay, so we have fought him, and now we are allowed to take uh, take a lot of the stuff. And if we would like, I think he might join us as a follower. If not, you at, uh, you at least are marked as uh, he considers you as uh, his friend. So apparently the, the people of Skyrim are pretty happy to, to brawl. Since he's not the first dude where if you, uh, if you beat him up he'll uh, suddenly be super friendly uh, to you. 
Okay, so the balling is done. Now let's go visit those orcs. Let's make sure troll fat and a daedra heart. Did we actually pick that up? Daedra heart, troll fat, looking good. So we'll fast travel back to here. <clears throat> and yeah, while each of the orc strongholds has its own uh, quests, if you take care of any of the quests, you'll be allowed into all of the orc strongholds. And that can be pretty handy. I think it looks better with the dragon head pointing this way. You must come with me. You'll become a part of this. You must be present for the ritual. I will stay right here and wait for you to bring me what I need. Yeah, so the dialogues are a little bit glitchy. Our tribe has survived this long without you interfering. We'll be fine. So these guys are actually a kind of uh, a kind of elf. It is time, Mars. You bring an outsider here, and now insist I call on Malakath for help when he has clearly forsaken me. You try my patience, Atub. Doing nothing will not grant our tribe relief from this curse. We must try. Let's get this over with. So they're going to perform some kind of ritual to have a, a talk with their uh, deity. And they've left some nice orcish now. gear here, but we... Uh, Deity. Giants, giants, overrun my shrine. Bring me their leader's club as an offering, and I might release you from this curse. So it will be. Malakath has spoken, Mars. Your path is clear. Very well. You, outsider, come here. I want a word. This is all your fault, you know. I'm My fault. fighting a giant now, thanks to you. So you're going to help me. You're going with me, and you're going to make sure I don't have any trouble reaching that giant. Oh, I'd forgotten about the side quest. I'll make it worth your while. This giant, it, you're going to clear a path to the So you meet me at Fallowstone Cave, and I'll get this over with. I could have my tribe back, and you can... You can leave us alone. Just what every hero quests for. To leave somebody alone. What a privilege. Okay, so Fellowstone Cave. Whoops, that is not Fellowstone Cave. This is Fellowstone Cave. Well, no. Oh, don't tell me we have to follow him all the way there. I think we do. Oh, well. Might as well take care of this. I seem to be a slightly faster runner than him. But I'm not wearing a lot of armor. I don't know, maybe 
we am at about the same speed. And we're just kind of briskly jogging. flowers and some more flowers some mushrooms wait where'd you go oh there you are <coughs> looks like your Mars does not have an amazing sense of uh, direction It would have been nice if you would have just marked where we're going on my map and I could have fast travel there. Or at least fast travel to somewhere a little bit closer. Come on, dude. Aren't we just... Somebody needs to get this guy a compass. Looks like Jazargo has found somebody to zap. He's wearing, I don't know if that's realistic motion for a sword. Uh, being attached to somebody who's spelled that way. So apparently we're running through Riften with him. Okay. I wonder if he knows how to fast travel. Wait, where'd he go? Oh. Oh, was he visiting the Yarl? What are we doing, you Mars? Come on. I'm surprised that the people of Rifton are not more freaked out by an orc chieftain just running through their uh, village in, uh, in heavy armor. It's not bad looking armor. Although the uh, Shih Tzu top to it is kind of goofy. kind of snaky body probably would not be a lot of fun on an escalator. Is she holding a pick? Yeah, looks like she's holding a pick. Uh, oh, okay. Jump, Khajiit, jump! So I think in some earlier games in the series they had a very different set of skills and you could uh, improve your acrobatic skills by jumping a lot. That isn't the case in this game, but it's still kind of a fun thing to do. Okay. Oh, 
there's a bear. Hopefully we won't get too near it. Oh, are there, there's two bears. Let's not get involved. Oh, looks like we don't have a choice. Great. Well... Okay, that's one less bear. Oh, the other bear has chosen to target me. Great. Okay, let's get our shield back on. Oh, and the bears are dead. Okay, so what this proves it is that it is pretty helpful to have two companions by your side when you are fighting bears. And what are you guys? Oh, they're companions. There's always time to stop to pick some flowers. Especially after a bear fight. So if you run enough that your stamina is entirely depleted, you make this kind of wheezing noise. Okay, this is, I think... Right. Okay. I'll lead the way, but you'd better back me up. Let's get this over with. Okay. So protecting an orf chief, uh, chieftain. That's got to feel good for his self-esteem. is the less clean cousin to Mr. Clean. Okay, so... Go on. Come on, you Mars. I guess I can pick some mushrooms while you're figuring out what you want to do. You were going to lead the way? Okay, good. And I'm guessing because he does not look like the sneaky sort that... Holding back and firing arrows is not going to happen. So actually, maybe I should keep Soul Trap and the Blade Sword uh, active. And boy am I glad that in video games, generally jumping is not as terrible of an idea as it is in real life, because this level of fall could easily lead to a sprained ankle, or worse. Huh, not a lot of uh, enemy here. Careful, here, Sargo. Maybe shield is smart. I'm gonna hope that I can... Let's see if I can knock him down. Okay. Got some good blows in there. Oh, Chisargo, you are injured. Sweet. And I took his soul. And I will take his other things, too. Oh, he has Dwarven Gear, too. And Chisargo is still alive. That is good. And there are some more mushrooms about. So maybe try and slight mushrooms. And thanks a lot for helping, Mr. Orc Chief. Because you could not back up just a little bit to help us in a dangerous battle. Okay. 
Okay, we will continue on. Are these? No, not mineable ore. Oh, trolls. And we get some troll fat, which is handy. And we, uh, leveled up. Looks like there was another orc here. Oh, it's a cave bear. Great. And my weapons are not doing a lot. Of course, I might not be as well armed as I should be at this point in the game. Where did... Huh. Okay. So you're just going to hang back. Oh, maybe that was the wrong way to go. So, we will press forward. Hey. Yeah. What? Don't make a mess of this. I don't intend to. Oh, was that all you had to say? So I do have a level up to take, but I am probably going to take it in the middle of combat. And that will let me get a free uh, health refill. Which will save myself some potions. All right. I'll go kill this giant. Unless, of course, you'd like to make some extra gold. Fine. Then wait here. This should only take a second. So I will let him go do it. I'd like to at least get close enough to see what's going on. Something smells foul. Yeah, there. Oh. Okay. That did not work as well as it probably should have. He was quickly killed. Okay, that was definitely not the way that that was supposed to work. Well, let's soul trap him, because if if it's do or die, then I'd rather at least get as much uh, much goodness as I can out of him. Actually, oh, and this seems like a decent time as any to take that level up. Let's go for a little bit more health, and uh, see is there any more enchanting I can get at the point. So I don't tend to put health, magicka, or stamina enchantments on items, but this is necessary to eventually take enchanting to 100 if I want the full benefit. Let's see if I can do any more smithing. No, don't have 50. I can improve my blocking. Yeah, let's improve uh, my blocking. Because that is... Whoa. Even with blocking, obviously, uh, I'm not quite ready to uh, take on monsters this tough on any regular basis. Always trying to scheme his way out of responsibility. So I think that was the um, Malik Ball, the uh, the god of the orcs, that was but talking to me. You took care of him and the giants. Um, Two problems solved at once. Now, take Shagro's hammer back to Largishburg, and we'll see about whipping the rest of them into shape. And a full set of orcish gear. That is a pretty nice thing to have. Uh, oh, so this apparently used to be an orcish temple, it looks like. 
And so the orc deity is not entirely thrilled that the orcs just let giants come in and uh, take over the place. So yeah, I guess we're done here. Since the orc chief is dead, and um, where's the way out? I guess we'll follow this path. Maybe it's the way out. The orc chief is dead. He was killed by the giant in short order. And I then took care of the giant. That is a nice looking sword. It might be a Daedric sword, but I didn't think Daedric swords looked like that. It does have the characteristic red, uh, red look. <coughs> Let's see, I think the exit is this way. Whoa. And we can pick up more mushrooms. Man, what a nice looking cave. And there's a bird in here. Oh, and there is a giant down there. Well, let's see if we can make life a little more interesting for this giant. It's probably wondering where, uh, where that arrow came from. Anyhow, I oh. guess we're not going to kill it, but we got a little bit of uh, target practice. So let's keep moving. I think up here is the cross over the river, which uh, leads to the exit. What a beautiful place. I kind of wonder what it would be like to build a home in a, a place like that. You'd have to be kind of uh, picky with the materials that you used. Because I imagine it would get uh, pretty damp and possibly pretty cold in the winter because uh, water is one of those um, one of those materials that, uh, I'm trying to remember the physics term, is that has a high specific heat? No, it's that it's dense enough that it's, um, that it tends to absorb or emit a lot of heat as it moves through an area. And so if the water's cold outside, then it, it will keep the inside area really pretty cold. So unlike a lot of caves, Caves that have running water through them in the winter probably would get cold. So that would be a challenge, unless you had it in a warm uh, weather area. We will return to her. Malik, what? I see. He did not survive. Ah, that it is overwhelmed him with, I think, one or two hits. His deceitful ways have cost you all greatly. So he has been punished. And what of us? What fate shall we suffer? You'll have to prove yourselves, but I'm willing to give you a chance. Gullerzo's in charge now. Let's hope he's a better chief. You place that hammer on the shrine. You're the only one who's proven worthy in all of this.
Okay. So, if we want, we can take this. And I guess I will. Whoops. It's a Daedric uh, artifact. May your next fight victory, friend. So we've finished helping the orc, uh, orcs, but we're still not allowed to take the orcish uh, gear from here. But we already got a set of orcish gear from the uh, dead orc chief. So we're good. Um, so with that out of the way, that took a lot more time than I thought it would. We're going to quickly fast travel back to Riften. And then we're going to take the uh, uh, one of these uh, wagon caravans up to Solitude. Where we're going to start the quest to join the um, Bard's College. I imagine you probably can't get cross-credit between classes at the Bard's College and classes at the College of Winterhold, but that is okay. So we have this stuff. Actually, the orcs, uh, the orc gear is pretty heavy, and there's a chance that I'll, I'll want to end uh, up using it for something later. So I'm not going to uh, sell it right away, but I'm definitely going to put it down. Okay, so... Orcish War Axe, putting that away. Let's put away the gigantic hammer. Oh, I have a glass bow now, 34. Is it better than a dwarven bow? It is. Upgrade, and we'll unequip this. And let's put the Dwarven Bow away for now, because we might might want to give it to um, a future follower. Um, okay, the Orcish stuff is put away. We do have a little bit of miscellaneous stuff that I think we can probably safely sell. I'm off work at the Black Friar Eatery. I'll be back there in the morning. You've been a good friend to me. Oh, is it? That be a little bit. Too early in the morning for him to be interested in buying and selling stuff, apparently. Oh, come on. Repair, purchase. Okay. Nothing like the no. of a white hot blade, eh? He's being oddly slow in getting ready to buy and sell stuff. Okay, you ready now? Yes, good. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. I guess we could enchant some of this stuff. I'm not going to bother right now, though. So unfortunately, my own armor is not that impressive at this point. Um, actually... Okay, let's see if I can make some more carrying stuff to improve my uh, weight capacity. So right now I am using a bandolier shoulder pad, which I think just was a lucky drop for me. Let's see what else I can get. Okay, a belt bag. Mm, 
and a box pouch. Okay, let's see. I can never remember with this mod um, what conflicts with what. Oh good, nothing conflicted with anything else, so I think I am good. Why is there a Dwemer bowl here? Oh well. I guess I probably dropped it. 213 out of 475, that's looking good. So we're going to head outside and go to Solitude and start to join the Bard's College. Looks like that hammer's in sleep mode with that kind of pulsing. Look, I wonder uh, how powerful it would be if we found the power button for it. it does seem like something you would not want to be hit with at any angle, not just because of the pure size. Okay, carriage, dude. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? <clears throat> We are going to Solitude. So he charges more for the minor cities than the uh, major ones. So there, uh, I think Bethesda was being a little bit sloppy. It cuts off his speech. The, the scene transition does. Now we don't actually need to join the uh, the college in order to um, use the speech trainer. But there are some other uh, other benefits to joining the college. So I uh, I normally get the quest and just get around to it whenever I do. So I imagine the region, uh, reason he charges more for minor cities than major ones is that there isn't a comfortable place for him to um, leave his carriage in the um, in the smaller cities. <clears throat> if you come to Solitude to join the Legion, speak to Rick. So this is the um, the administrative center of the Empire for Skyrim. And Solitude is actually a lot... Um, so it is on this gigantic arch that sits over the ocean. It's a lot prettier to um, to wander down beneath it and look up. Oh. They can't hurt Uncle Brock here. Tell them he didn't do it. Position. Sorry, you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. Get on with it! You betrayed us! <clears throat> Her that her uncle is scum that betrayed his high king. Best she know now. Oh. <laughs> Rogner, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Tori. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He doesn't Peter. deserve to speak! There was no murder. Ulfric challenged Tori. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords. So that was the event that sparked the uh, Civil War. Um, Ulfric was, uh, he didn't approve of the um, deal that the Empire made with the High Elves. I go to Sondard. And, um, and so he came up to the, whole, uh, to the High King and uh, and killed him. He was a, a young boy. Now he did challenge him in fair combat, but uh, well, I guess that's that's pretty much it. 
but it uh, it was probably not that sporting to uh, to two challenge him in that kind of uh, situation. So complicated. Uh, we can get some nightshade for the quest while we're in town. Nobody seems to mind that I'm wandering around grabbing all the uh, all the plants. I used to be an adventurer like you, and I took an arrow in the knee. Thanks for sharing. Now that the possibility that everybody would uh, do this kind of thing is why. In a lot of cities, there are signs that suggest, or a lot of cities in real life, there are signs that suggest that you don't pick the uh, the uh, the flowers, don't mess with the plants, because presumably just a whole bunch of uh, people would just go grab uh, grab this stuff because it amused them. Okay, so we're making made some good progress towards. Uh, Uh, for that quest. Anyhow, the College of Winterhold, or I mean the, the Bard's College, rather, is up here. Now, the speech trainer, amusingly, has a terribly stupid looking hat on his head. And he wanders between the college and his home, which is somewhere near the entrance to the city. Ah, there he is. Stupid looking hat. Uh, uh, on the right, of course. You should be aware. When possible, we ask applicants. Ellison has forbidden the burning. To convince her, I want to read. Yes. I need you to retrieve the poem. Okay. Don't run off. Well. Come to the right place. Oh, except I've got speech up to 45 and now it's getting kind of expensive to train it. Or at least expensive compared to what I have now. Be careful. You might find more than just King Olaf's purse in Dead Man's Respite. I, have I always thought that the word was pronounced respite. Anyhow, so they need me to go and get, um, go and get a lost poem. Which I suppose is kind of fitting for... A Bard's College. Now, we're in the military and main part of the city. A little bit further out is the palace. And we're going to head there just because it has its uh, its own separate place marker. And its place marker is a little bit more convenient for access to the uh, Bard's College. Youngest Bard at the Bard's College, at your service. And it is this way. There are more plants that we can scoop up along the way. Now you can buy uh, a house in uh, in solitude. I think it was somewhere back behind us on the left. And the, uh, the Jarl of Solitude, although she doesn't have uh, as full of a control as a lot of the other Jarls, because it is the center for the Empire's administration, she is the, um, the widow of the pr uh, previous Jarl who was killed by Ulfric. Please don't interrupt the core magics. Oh, from that whoops. There are strange noises and lights. We need someone to investigate. Then we will immediately send out a legion to scour the cave and secure the town. Hafengar's people will always be safe under my... Your room. Eminence, my scrying has suggested nothing in the area. Dragonbridge is under Imperial control. This is likely a superstitious nonsense. Perhaps some more... A little bit weird that everyone is always looking at me when I'm in the room. Oh, yes, of course, you were right. Falk, tell Captain Aldous I said to assign a few extra soldiers to... Guys! Thank you, Yarl Elisif. What about the cave? I'm not 
someone take care of the cave as well, partners. Rest easy. You're dismissed. The Imperials are good for business. Business is good for Skyrim. Thanks for sharing. Please address Don't all take questions. This the wrong way. But you... Oh, I thought that matter was handled. I think Falk is taking care of that. Be quick. I have little patience. Do you have business? Friends. You mean that there? I don't think it's worth our time. The war going on. Okay. But if I have to clear up if I needed case, something from you. Sure Nothing. You oh, don't give. We have something of a vampire. I don't expect you to be capable of even that. Okay. So those are. Vampires are clever. Oh, actually, she'll buy um so, you wish to match some of the extra black mage robes and stuff that I've been picking up. Oh, but she doesn't have a lot of a uh, lot of money to buy it. Take care okay. Of if you have business, please see Falk Fire looking to my steward. My duty is to keep, keep the yard safe, Jenny not play nursemaid to you. Okay, so that is a good breaking point for uh, for today. In the next Let's Play, I believe that we're going to go and start the Vampire Dawn Card uh, series of stuff because. Although Jutargo is certainly a fun character to have with me, he's not that effective. And the companion that you eventually get uh, throughout that uh, quest line is significantly more useful. See you in the next Let's Play.